these uh, pipe smokers. I'm trying to smoke. I have to say, so far, I'm disappointed with it, just like almost all of uh, Samuel Gawis Flakes. I let this stuff sit out overnight. I had two flakes out overnight for about 24 hours to be exact. And uh, it's dry, but it's still just won't light worth a shit. Can't keep it lit. I crumbled it up real good. It's kind of hard to tell what kind of good taste I'm getting because I'm not getting much. I could get the shit to burn, I might be able to have an opinion on it, but uh, you know me, when I see something's coming out that I'm interested in, I didn't buy just one tin, so <laughs> I got plenty to set aside for age. I just can't keep it lit. I mean, I do try to get it lit so hard, it's just the burning so hot, my pipe's burning hot. Anyway, I'm outside, out back. I hope you can hear me. Uh, I'm sure you can hear in the background the cicadas. My area here in West Virginia, we have the 17-year uh, cicadas now this year. And they're just starting. Uh, I took a couple short little video clips. I'll uh, show at the end of this video. I'm sure you can hear them in the background. My wife is scared to death of them, but uh, I love them. They don't bother me none. What I can get out of this, it, it does taste pretty good. It's just you can't, can't, can't smoke shit. Smoking it in my hackard, but uh, I'm going to try it in a cob too. I'll try it not by not drying it out too, but uh, I know it's going to be worse. Doesn't taste bad. It was uh, 90 some degrees here today. I'm coming into my uh, busy season at work. All summer long is when we get a lot more uh, road projects done with a, with a nice hot weather. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else is going on with me. Oh, I've been getting a lot of questions about my uh, tobacco hoarding with uh, the FDA. Yeah, I got a lot of big orders in. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and show them all, but... I got uh, several boxes of uh, boutique cigars that I know I wanted to get a hold of in case they're gone. And uh, of course, you know, I got plenty of pipe tobacco and I got some more in just the other day. I bought plenty of these and I got, uh, what else did I get? Uh, some more luxury, luxury bullseye flake. I got some cult blood moon and, uh, Bulk and blue, some more bulk and blue. But, uh, like I said, not really much going on. Uh, July, July 8th is my wife and I's uh, 20 year wedding anniversary. And, uh, I asked her if she wanted to renew our vows. So, uh, 20 years, we're going to have it on July 9th. It's the day after, since it's a Saturday. But, uh, if anybody was in the area, I'd invite you, but nobody lives around me, really. But, uh, we're going to have a big family 
and friends uh, wedding renewal. There's going to be probably 150 people there. Be nice. I'll uh, take some pictures, show you that. Twenty years is definitely an accomplishment in this time of uh, era. Most people don't make it past the first five years. I just can't keep this shit lit. So far, I'm definitely disappointed in it. That's why I was uh, hesitant to even get it to begin with, but uh, of course I had to try it. At this point, I think uh, full Virginia Flake smokes easier than this shit. Definitely going to try it in another pipe, but uh, as of now, for me anyway. Like I said, it doesn't taste bad, but there's a lot of other Virginias out there that uh, you can get some enjoyment out of and actually smoke the damn things. This reminds me of uh, McClellan's Christmas cheer also. I shit you not, I have a tin. I have a, what is it, a uh, eight ounce, eight ounce or whatever it is, of uh, Christmas cheer from like 2010 that's still open. It's been open. I never put it in a, a mason jar. It's still in the tin, the, the container, still wet as could be. <laughs> 2010. Other than that, won't keep you guys any longer. Talk to you boys and girls later.